guys, in this video I'm going to talk you through a speed time graph exam question. In the first part, it asks us to work out the deceleration of the car in the first 20 seconds. Okay, so just here. To work out the deceleration, you need to work out the gradient of this line here. So to do that, I'm going to use a method called rise over run. This point lies at 0, 0,16 and this point lies at 2010. And to work out the gradient, I need to subtract the y values. So I'm going to do 16 take away 10. Then I need to divide by the difference in the x values. So 0 minus 20. Just be careful when you do those subtra subtractions that you subtract the same way for both values. So if you start with this point for the y and you minus this coordinate here, you have to do the same thing for the x values. Now, let's work that out. 16 take away 10 is 6. 0 take away 20 is just negative 20. And that simplifies to negative 3 over 10, or if you want to write it as a decimal, negative 0 0.3. Now, we're not quite finished. Because in the question, it asks for deceleration. If we leave it like this, it's in its acceleration form. So if the question had asked for the acceleration, this would be correct, okay? But because it asks for deceleration, what you need to do is change the sign, okay? So it's just positive 0 0.3 meters per second squared. So that is what you need to write down for your final answer. Now, to work out the total distance, you need to work out the area underneath the graph, okay? So, distance is always the area underneath. I'm just going to split this graph up into two familiar-looking shapes, a triangle and a rectangle, and I'm going to work out the area of the triangle first. So, area of a triangle is base multiplied by height divided by 2. This base is 20. And the height of this triangle goes from 10 to 16, so it's 6. And then always divide by 2 if it's the area of a triangle. Then I'm going to add on the area of this big rectangle here, so base times height, the base being 70, and the height being 10. So if I work that out, uh, 20 times by 6 divided by 2 is 60. 70 multiplied by 10 is 700, and if we add those together, we get 670 meters. Okay, so I know the units are meters because this is in meters per second.